right, GoPro on. So we've got the uh, GNSS thing there, 12 satellites. We are on 2S. You can see that's my 5,000 milliamp Ovonic race pack. I do have the carpet out here just to warm the tires, but I think at a 80 degree day, with the way this thing's been going, I think we're fine. What I'm out to do right now is I'm literally just here to uh, see if I can get it to go straight. Wheelie bar is positioned the way it is high for a reason. I, I won't get into it. This is just the way that I do things. I do things that are maybe not the conventional way of doing it, but it works for me and, and this is the route that I'm going to go. Uh, everybody's got to do uh, whatever they're comfortable with. So I am just going to give the uh, tires a very, very quick little burn. And we're going to see where this car is at. It does have the factory slow pinion in it. Nothing has been adjusted or changed. That's why I'm out here today. Well, actually, I'm kind of lying to you because I did make two mods. <laughs> I'll explain it after, but it has nothing to do with nothing. All right. So let's just see where we are. Looks like we're in the center of the road. I am going to do the trans brake. You can see that the multifunction TSM is all the way cranked off. That's the way I had it from the beginning because that's just the way I do things. And what I might do is do a full trigger launch. I know the tires are cooling, but kind of not really. I'm going to do a full trigger launch right now. So that means pressing in this button right here. So press and hold, press the trigger, and as soon as my knuckle, backside of my knuckle rolls off, uh, it's going to take off. So three, two, one. Okay. That was insane. <laughs> so I guess uh, with the body on, it makes a massive difference. All right, I will do a quick little tire burn here. Get this thing lined up. Like I said, no TSM on, nothing. All right, see where we're at? I'm gonna give it Trans brake, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say three quarter throttle, release. Okay, that actually was meant. <laughs> Obviously the front end's lifting up, but I mean, it's got no body weight on it. So, but as far as it going straight, it's tracking really straight. Uh, in my opinion, it's tracking straight. So I'm gonna do that again. This time I'm gonna go half throttle, trans brake off. Okay, so I am tracking to the uh, right just a little bit, I believe. Because right now you can see it's hooking left. Seems like that's pretty straight now. All right, we're gonna see what this says. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, the screen shut off? Come on, why does it keep doing this to me? The recording thing ends up shutting off. All right, well, whatever. So I'm gonna hit track, I'm gonna hit drag. You can see we're at uh, 132 feet, I think you can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start. Throw it in there. I'm gonna give it, remember this is the slow pinion. Give it a little tire burn. I'm gonna go half trigger, release. That was surprisingly straight. I may have let off a little too soon, but let's bring it back. Again, it did a wheelie. I don't know if I hit the bars or not. I'll have to check on the footage. Now this is box stock. This is out of the box, man. See what we're looking at, read. 
We are looking at 3.3 at 37 miles an hour. And you can see the acceleration curve. Actually, I should take a picture of that. Read. Take a picture. And I can't tell if I went the whole length. Back out. Drag. Start. Give it a little burn. All right. I'm gonna go three quarter throttle this time. Looks like I'm fairly straight. Drag, uh, yeah, drag brake. <laughs> Trans brake. I'm gonna go three quarter throttle and go. Now, see this is where I gotta get used to this because what did I just do? I literally didn't pay attention to where my thumb was. Still pulling to the left. All right, let's see what we're looking at. I think I gotta turn the time off for the screen thing. Did I literally, what did I mess up now? Why isn't it working? Read. So 3.6 at 37, but you can see in the graph where I kind of messed up. Set the car back. Back. What if it drag? Start. Give it a burn. I'm just gonna throttle it, full throttle it, see what happens. Very straight. And I think I may have let off too soon. Maybe I didn't. I gotta get the cone out there, but watch, here goes the brake. So the um, trans brake does work. You just obviously have to have the um, right amount of weight in the chassis. So read, we've got 3.2 at 39, 39 miles an hour. See if we can get one more hit. Back it out. Start. Hope this doesn't mess it up by doing that. All right, this time I am going to just full throttle, see what happens. Oh, <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> yeah. This one, I I should have let off on the throttle. I just, for some reason, thought that I could uh, maintain. So we're in the bush here somewhere. I can see it. It's right there. All right. And it looks like it's fine. It's just a little dirty. Uh, we'll let it roll out and <laughs> make sure things are still straight. Yeah, no, I definitely do. I was just doing these couple of runs while you were doing stuff. Figured I'd just keep myself busy. I'm just going to do one more run because I messed up that one. All right, I got to, I got to, I'm not going to do a run right now. I'm just going to make sure that it's still straight. Just kind of clean off some of that junk. So it's straight. 
So, yeah. There's a couple of issues that I want to bring out. And it will explain why on power, it's straight and then off power. Why I'm getting, I didn't mean to do that. Why off power, it's um, messing up. So amazingly, the GPS is still on there. That's why I've got it on the elastic. We'll see what that was. It's probably not gonna read anything right, but we'll see what that was. Read, looking at 19.51 at eight miles an hour. <laughs> All right, drag, start, leave it in there. And I should have been screen recording or whatever it was there. Give it a little burn. I think I want the outside of the tire on that side to get a little bit more. All right, trans brake, pretty much three quarter throttle. And I let off early because I obviously landed in the sand. Something may have been off from the crash, but like I told my wife, that would be it. So I'll continue this a little bit later. I got a couple of things to do with her. So that's it for now. All right, what do we get? Read. Uh, 3.14 at 37 miles per hour on the slow gearing. And I did not go all the way, I don't think. I don't even know. All right, I'll be back. All right, like I said, we are back out. And we've got 12 satellites. I am going to hit drag. You can see that the uh, body's on right now. Pavement's nice and foot hot. Burning my feet here. I'm going to hit start. Keep it right here. Perfect spot for it. Going to give it a very minor... Um, burn, which doesn't really need it because my feet are burning. <laughs> so the car shouldn't literally need anything. Um, it's just got a heavier body on it. I am going to do the trans brake. Hit the button. Going to go three quarter throttle. Let it go. So even with the um, anti-lock it did do a uh, it did do a uh, spin out at the end so this time I'm gonna do no burn it's gonna go right past the rug but let's see where we are on this uh, data analyzer <laughs> I'm gonna stand on the carpet here. Read. Remember, this is stock pinion. 3.31 at 38. So you can see it's got a nice acceleration peak and a fairly flat speed. So what was the max speed? 38 miles an hour. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit drag again. Start. And this time, full trigger. Trans brake, full trigger, go. Yep. Noodle it out of that one. So that ended up being a failed launch. And you do have to know when to, um, when to let it go, when to back out of it. So I am going to do a tire burn. I'm going to clear this one out. I'm not even going to read it. Start. I am going to do a quick tire burn here. Trans brake, full throttle, launch. That one should have been faster. With the body on, uh, right now, we're not getting any lift, I don't believe. 
So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up, bring it over on the side here. I'm going to line it up though, and I am going to preload the um, suspension first. Or after I do the burn. Read. 3.31 at 37 miles an hour. Back out, drag, start. Got a vehicle coming. All right, let me just make sure that it didn't do anything. I'm gonna hit uh, stop. I'm gonna hit drag again, start. I know where the distance is. I am gonna let it get a nice burn. All right. Trans brake, full, go. Oh. That was a good launch. That was full trigger. I know the front end lifted up, but the wheelie bar didn't tag at all, which is fine with me. All right, see where we are with that. Read, and we're looking at 3.30 at 37 miles an hour. I don't think there's really much we can get um, out of this from that. I'm going to do one last launch. Back out, drag, start, trans brake, full throttle, release. There we go. Release. There we go. Carried the wheels. I don't even know if I hit the wheelie bar, but that was a very good hit. I am very pleased with that one. I don't even think the wheelie bar hit. That's why I have the wheelie bar so high. I literally want the car just to carry through. So what are we looking at? We are looking at read. We've got 3.31 and 37. And it carried the wheel, so I did lose a little bit. I don't think it hit the wheelie bar though. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of that and then one more time, just because it's just I'm having a good time here. Let it get a little burn. Back out, drag, start, trans brake, full throttle, release. Yep. Yep. It's carrying the wheels. So it's carrying the wheels, not even hitting the wheelie bar. That's awesome. That is pretty good, man. It's almost as if I don't need the wheelie bar. I think that's pretty good and I'm guessing I'm guessing we probably got about the same time just because it does seem to be fairly consistent. Read. I think it's actually slower. <laughs> ah, all right. It could be the battery strength. Maybe the battery's getting worn out. We do have a bunch of launches, so uh, I think I'm going to top off the battery and then I'm going to change the opinion and we'll see what happens from there. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Turn the GNS off. Okay. So, I'm gonna go in and change the pinion. I just gotta throw my rug on top of the mailbox here. And, uh, yeah. Grab the truck. Pavement's hot. All right. Got the 
car back on here. Very, very um, minimal things with this car. Uh, to be quite honest with you, realistically, nothing was done. I'm shocked because there's something that I noticed uh, about this vehicle. And I'm going to bring it up after the fact, but what I want to do is I want to pop out the battery. You'll be able to see uh, two of my mods. <laughs> this, is, this is one of my mods right here. This is just a hot racing tether that I bought for the Big Rock. I drilled a small little hole in one of the reinforcing ribs. Just a small little hole just to pull that thing through. And now I'm not going to lose that body clip or battery door clip. So that's one mod. And then the other mod, which I got to laugh about. What Traxxas did, right? They stuck, um, which is still junk in there from when I crashed into the tree. There was a piece of tape here. Well, the piece of tape was stupid. The wire was actually twisted in the channel. So there's a channel that's in the chassis right here. So what I did is I took some of my, um, my double-sided stick tape and cut it to length, squeezed it inside, and obviously the underside is the part that doesn't have the, um, this uh, protective uh, coating right here, the little uh, sticky tape thing protector, and I just left that on there. And what it does is it makes it so that this battery, this battery now gets semi-compressed um right into place and this thing doesn't move so and this is the battery pack like i said that i'm running and i did say um when i do run it i do disconnect this uh plug i don't know why other than the fact that i don't want that thing ripping off in potentially like a crash so that's literally the way i do it you can see my gps module is just like elastic band to the wheelie bar and the transmission case in the back so i'm gonna go ahead and throw this on a charge don't charge lipo batteries in house. That's not what I'm doing. And you can pretty much see, oops, well, you'll see in a second. I just moved the wire. So, so you see where the battery was at at 72, uh, basically 72%. So I'm gonna let it charge up. Uh, we're gonna let it, let it, gonna let it check up, not charge. And I did have to do a um, a Dean's to a TRX connector. It's fine. I highly doubt there's any major loss of anything. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop off this uh, this cover here. I'm going to get my little GPS thing out of the way. This is the original body clip. Uh, not body clip. Keep calling it body clips. This is the original battery clip. It's at a 90 degree. And like I said, I've got that little tether one. I think that's pretty sweet. So, to take this cover plate off. Looks like a screw from that back side there. And one screw kind of where... The wheelie bar is so so one screw in the back side and one screw i think where that wheelie bar is to uh pop off that cover so back side here make sure it's still in frame <laughs> good and I think it's the screw that's right here and I hope that's that that's the two screws that I needed to remove the cover and that would be a yes and it's not gonna come off because the wheelie bar is in the way so I had cranked up that wheelie bar so, and I think on that launch, it didn't even um, tag the wheelie bar. It literally just carried the wheels, which was cool. Cool to see. Now, these are individual holes here. 
probably would have been easier just to use my uh, driver there. Alright, so it does come off like that. And pop this other screw off. And there's obviously the slipper clutch. It is a plastic gear, right? I think that's plastic. Sure does look plastic. Yeah, plastic gear. Alright, so they did give me a uh, speed pinion, which is. Come on, guy, get with it. I put the Traxxas crap in the slip block. I don't even know what to do with it. All right, I'll be back. Well, that's literally how fast I'm back. The zip lock is right there. I didn't even need to shut off the camera. Put this, put it in a zip lock, but I didn't zip the zip lock. All right, so that's that. So here's the gear. This is a 29 tooth. Versus a 22, yeah, 22 tooth versus a 29. Got a little set screw in there, Got some thread lock on it. I'm gonna go ahead and just install that screw into the pinion. Put it about there. So I don't want this. Hell yeah, brother! Mesh-wise, mesh is super tight. Wonder if I lost some miles per hour just because of that. I suppose that's possible. Listen up the motor screws. I may have to take the wheel off. Get to that one. Ah, oh, looks like I got it. Slide that motor back. Oh. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing it now. I see the light. So, this little plastic thing right here is a motor spacer or a pinion spacer that's what that is but i am not going to use it because i want to set my own probably asking for trouble by doing that so that's what that is it's a little spacer see look at this Check that out. It's a spacer. That's pretty nuts. Wonder why they do that. Take this wheel off just so I can make it just a touch more accessible here. And this is what I was saying about this wheel. This wheel, the way they did this wheel is pretty slick. So it's a black chrome 
with a black bead lock and a black center with black chrome wheel nuts. That just looks slick. They did their homework on at least the look. That is a pretty slick look. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw the motor screws back in here. Provided I can find the right hole. All right, so. The wire is almost. Almost as if the screw doesn't want to go back in there. Alright, so it's going to fight me. Maybe that's why they put the uh, plastic thing on there. Because <laughs> they knew somebody like me who doesn't know what they're doing will be getting their fingers in here. Wrecking stuff. Oh, man. There we go. What I don't like, um, it has a massive tug on these wires here. So I'm gonna, in order to put this pinion on, I'm gonna remove this little wire tie thing here so that the wires have a little bit more flex to them. So the wires are ultra, ultra tight, man. So here we go. Give it a little bit more freedom, breathability. Take this 29. Throw it on there. Pinch it up. So let's see. Let's turn it this way so I can see the alignment. I believe. So, it's just snugged on there. Looks like it's pretty good. That's super loose. Too tight. That actually feels pretty good. So let's see if it moved. It's actually a little too loose still, but maybe we'll make up for that in the bottom. So I'm gonna give that crank a little bit, loosen this up just a touch. amount okay I'm thinking that might be good right there 
I mean, it's ever so slight. Ever so slight. So, for this run, um, what I am going to do, I'm going to do like I had already talked about. I'm going to crank this wheelie bar pretty much all the way up to where I had it. I think, where did I have it? Because I don't want the wheelie bar actually really doing anything right now. So, I just want to see what the car does. This is probably... Oh, look at that. The wheelie bar hits. So it can't go all the way up. It actually hits the motor. So this is obviously not the way you're supposed to do it, but this is the way I'm doing it because I'm just going to let the... I'm going to let the, the vehicle carry the wheels without the wheelie bar because it does seem to be um, holding very well. So Vector over there is freaking out. He's never done this before. Look where he is. What the heck are you doing over there? How the heck am I going to get him? Battery is all set, so I'm just going to unplug that. Yeah, what do you mean? Freak out. Freak out. Yeah, whatever. That was all on you. Don't get mad eyes. What's wrong with you? Saved your life. All right. Back on. Like I said, I am going to leave the... Um, I'm going to leave the gears open right now. I'm really not gonna I'm not gonna be worried about it I'm just gonna leave the gears open I'm sure it's gonna be fine I'm not gonna <laughs> hopefully you have any sand to run through I'm gonna take it easy take a couple of hits test hits get the uh, GPS unit back on there gonna get eaten oh. wheel back on Wheels are a little warped in the front. Not really a huge deal, but that one's not too bad. This one's got a little bit of uh, wobble to it. So, this battery is all set, ready to rip. Like I said, what I do is just for, for my sanity, I just unplug that center. Um, why am I doing it? I, I, I don't know. Just because I feel like it's smarter to go ahead and do that so it doesn't get ripped off in an accident. So, so what I was doing was bringing this plug through. So I'll bring this through here. Shove that into its slot. Push that battery back. And then take the little tethered clip that way I'll never lose it I mean I probably wouldn't have lost it anyway but I don't know it's just something I had to do something to make it mine all right so and I hate 
8 deans for this reason right here. Okay, good to go. Those wires are fine. That's fine. Stuff this little plug in with these wires like that. That way it doesn't, no issues. So I will see you back out. Now we're running the 29 tooth. Now we're running the 29 tooth on a 76 spar. So we'll see what it does. All right, we are back out. Rug is dry, surprisingly. Temperature has cooled down a little bit, uh, but we are now running the 28 tooth pinning gear. Do you want to check? The Sky RC thing in, and we've got 12 satellites. I'm gonna hit drag, and I will hit start. Leave that right there. Actually, you know what? I'll leave it right there. All right, TSM is off. It's a 2S pack. I did top it off. All right, so I'm going to just literally trans brake, full trigger, launch. All right, launch. All right, so now it's tagging the wheelie bar. <laughs> All right. Now it's tagging that wheelie bar, which that's what I wanted to see. I could immediately tell it was hitting the wheelie bar. Now, everybody's telling me to bring the wheelie bar down. Uh, honestly, what I would rather do is I'd rather wait the front of the vehicle. So, uh, I'm just going to read it. I know it's nothing. 8.85, 20 miles an hour. I'll just get a snapshot. Back out. Drag. Start. And what I will do this time... I'm not even going to give it a tire burn. I'm going to half trigger and then release. Goes pretty quick. <laughs> I might have to play around with the steering again. All right, I bet the anti-lock is gonna work now. Read. So now we're looking at 3.31 at 43. Now I can do way better than that. Drag, start. Alright, so what I'm going to do is stop, drag, start, that way it's fair. Uh, you can obviously see the, uh, well I can feel the pavement isn't as hot as it was. I think we're good as far as alignment, right there. I'm not going to do trans brake, I'm literally just going to pedal it and see what this thing does. Three, two, one. Yeah, I'm recording, right? <laughs> Three, two, one. Now, I think I let off early. The anti-lock does work. That's pretty cool. Because you can slow it down like normal, right? But then if you crank on it, it does the anti-lock so it like still allows the wheels to slip a little bit but it's more controlled read so 3.30 at 43 snapshot that
I'm gonna give the tires a little burn. So drag, start. I'm gonna give the tires a burn. Three, two, one. Now I'm gonna give it full brake. All right. All right, so it is spinning out. So that means that the vehicle actually needs a little bit more weight. Read, looking at, all right, 3.15 at 43. Snapshot that. Bring it over back to the carpet. Back off, drag, start. Like I said, gonna give it a little burn. Three, two, one. One. I wish I could adjust that drag brake, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I wish I could adjust the brake because the anti-lock needs to be toned down a little bit. I'd have to add weight in order for that to change, in my opinion. All right, let's see what we're looking at. Let me connect charger. 17%, read. 3.35 at 40, uh, 44. So went slightly faster, but a slower time. Back out. Drag, start. Give it a burn again. All right, it's ready. All right, here we go. I'm just literally just doing it by hand. Three, two, one. I think I need the car to weigh more. <laughs> now I'm gonna do something right now all right I'm gonna shift the battery forward read 3.16 at 45 so that was a better launch what I'm gonna do right now right I'm going to shift the battery forward because I want to be able to get a nice trigger launch um yeah so i'm gonna loosen this up i'm gonna slide this battery well you know what how's this esc feel a little warm motor's fine esc is warm motor's fine battery's fine wires feel good i'm gonna switch the battery around now it's gonna be different the plug so I don't want the battery all the way forward I'm just gonna have it centered like that plug it in it's gonna change the balance absolutely hate Dean's garbage plugs man
right. All right. Let's see what we have here. Back out. So now we have a little bit more middle to forward weight. Make it so I'll be able to do a harder launch. Start. Three, two, one. All right, so. Whoo. It did tag the bar. You know what I want to do though? I'm going to do a more controlled launch this time. All right, let's see. So that may mean if I take that battery and shift it all the way forward, that might be enough weight. You know what I'm saying? To keep that front end down like it was when it was on the 22 tooth. So I'm just going to read it just to see what we got. <laughs> 25 miles an hour. All right. So what am I doing? I'm going to control the launch this time. Drag, start. Three, two, one. So that was actually a double hop. Oh! <laughs> well, it's a slash, right? It's supposed to be able to go off road. <laughs> it's a slash. It's supposed to go off road, guy. All right. Let's see what we got. Come on. Read. So now we've got 45 miles. We did better. We did better with the battery being pushed forward because I was able to lean into the throttle more. So we're 3 0 at 45. So I'm going to screenshot that. All right. So that means I'm going to, I'm going to move the battery forward even more. I'm going to, literally crank it all the way to the front we'll see what that does the only thing is that it moves so I should be able to capture the battery with the wires and that should hold so I did there went to go grab one of the body pins so that should be better. Not perfect, but now the battery's all the way forward. <laughs> I went off road with open gears. That's not good. Battery shifted all the way forward this time, which means it's going to allow me to bury the throttle faster. Back out. All right. Drag, start. So now the battery's shifted all the way forward. All right, three, two, one. All right, wasn't enough. Right. 
What do we have? 3.05 at 45. Read. 3.13 at 44. So I lost a little bit, but that was just because you could see where I pedaled it. So that was me pedaling it, which caused me to lose. So back out, we'll line it back up. Drag, start. Three, two, one. I feel like that should have been pretty good. Read. 3.0, oh, okay. So we have a faster time and a slower speed. Let's just double check that. Back out, drag, start, warm up them tires. Now, I'm actually gonna do the trans brake this time. Three quarter throttle. That was good, but it was drifting to that right side and I dig tag tagged the curb. Felt pretty good though. I don't know if I like that trans brake. I'm, I'm, it's something to get, get used to. Read. 3-0. Oh my god. Don't even tell me that the trans brake gave me 3-0. You can see that I did pedal it. Or maybe that was just the acceleration launch. And then maybe that other section was me just uh, with the throttle. So we have 3-0 at 44. So faster time, slower speed, but times the time is what matters. So let's back out. I think I did I screenshot that? Just in case I didn't. All right. All right. Drag, start. All right, trans brake, three quarter throttle, release. That one seemed pretty good, but I almost feel like that was less trans brake and more RC guy RC garage. Looking at Reed. 3.05 at 44, so yeah, <laughs> similar. I should screenshot that. You can see that throttle curve. Man, what does the motor feel like? Let's see what the motor feels like. Motor's meant. ESC, it's hot. All right, so. I think that's it. It's like literally nothing else to do. So do you get that? There's literally nothing else to do. I might need to do a little bit of um, I might need to do. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. What the heck? I might need to do um, just some very minor suspension changes, but minor only in the way that. 
I've got a little bit of odd binding up front or the possibility that I have two different shock oils left and right. It's almost what it feels like, but it could be binding. On the rear, the rear, the right, left, the left side collapses first, but it's still pulling pretty straight. I don't remember steering it. Am I steering it? I could be. Could be an automatic reaction to steer, but it's going damn straight. The DR10 out of the box was an absolute joke. This thing is no joke. So why are you paying the price that you're paying? You're paying the price to have a smile on your face. I mean, with the DR10, I still did end up having a smile on my face, but I'll tell you right now, if I had had the DR10 and I had had this Traxxas drag slash, like at the same time, the fight would have been wanting to make the DR10 go straight. I just know that with myself. But the enjoyment right out of the box, which is OTB, out the box, literally is this Traxxas uh, drag slash. So uh, that's it for today. I think I'm going to do just a couple of um, slow-mo launches. I know you all love those slow-mo launches. So I'm going to do a couple of slow-mo launches and then uh, create the video. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode from RC Guy Garage. And I am out. What are you doing? <laughs>